Welcome to Bitty Bum Boutique TV. Today we're going to show you how to make a ribbon flower hair bow. This is one that's done. It doesn't have the center in it yet, but this is a um, large flat ribbon flower. Today we're going to make a small ribbon flower. I make three sizes, and this is the small. Today we're going to use, we're going to make a pink one, and for the small ones I use quarter inch ribbon. So we have pink quarter inch ribbon, and for, for the small flower you're going to need four four inch pieces of quarter inch ribbon. So I use my rotary mat and rotary color, cutter to make the flowers because it's easy to make um, them all the same size. You don't have to, you know, obviously use this, but it makes it easy for me if I'm home making them. So we have four four inch pieces of pink ribbon and then I cut another say about two inch piece and this is the little piece that's extra that attaches will help attach the flower to whatever we're going to attach it to which today we're going to do an alligator clip. So you have your four pieces of ribbon you're going to stack them evenly and then lay them on your mat. Okay. Then you're going to get I use this white thread. I actually do have black also if it's a dark color and you don't want you don't see the thread, but I use the black for darker ones and white for lighter ones. So you're going to thread your ribbon or your I'm sorry, your ribbon. Your thread onto your needle. tie it one time in a knot. Okay, so now you have your needle and thread and you have your stack of four pieces of ribbon. Now you're going to find the center, so two inches, and right at the center and in the center of the ribbon of your stack, you're going to put your needle and just push down and then lift your ribbon up onto the needle. Just like that, I lifted it. So it's halfway up on your needle and then you're going to separate your pieces and, like, and you're going to make a star. So we're sep we separate, oops, you're going to keep them all like on the center of your needle. So we separate our pieces, try to get them, you know, as even as possible. So we have all four, so just like that, in our center of the room. I'm going to hold on to them in the middle and then I start with my top piece. And you can fold them however you want. Um, there's different ways to fold them. You can just fold it over like that. You can fold it, I don't know, there's different ways. I like to fold it under and then I put it on top of the needle. Just like that. So you do that all the way around to each petal, under and then on the needle. And now you need to go a little bit in. You don't have to go a whole lot, but you try to, try to do the same amount in on your piece of ribbon on each piece. You don't want to do it right on the edge because it doesn't grab. So just a tiny bit in on each piece and you just go around so you get all your petals. I'm making this one for my 10 month old. She has decided she doesn't like to keep her headbands in, so she has enough hair now to grip a little bit of a grip with an alligator clip, so we're going to try these now. Okay, so now you have all your petals are turned. Now I like to put my center on the other side where there's no ends of your ribbon, so I take my needle out and then just switch it to the other side so that my knot and the back of my flower is going to be where all the ribbon meets. So then just pull your ribbon through. Again. Okay, and then this, I'm going to go ahead and trim this piece off. And this is where I add my extra, my extra little piece. This is going to attach to the, make it attach to the alligator clip. Just slide that piece on. 
and then I do two more two more loops with them. Make sure your ribbon's coming all the way through there. One more back in. Okay. It's good on that side. Everything seems secure. So then we're going to cut our string. And then I just tie two knots to finish off the string. Okay. Trim that off. Okay, so now we have our flower. So now it needs a clip and it needs a center. So we are going to attach it to an alligator clip. Here's our pink ribbon. Right size. So we're going to line our alligator clip with our hot glue. I'm going to try out of hot glue, of course. Sorry about that. People line alligator clips all different ways. This is just the way I do it. I put the glue on the ribbon. For me, it seems to stay better. And I don't line the entire back. So, I'm just going to go like this. And I fold it in. And this one's a little long, but. I don't like to cover the end of my tip because then it doesn't slide into the hair. So I do about there or there. It's a little longer than normal, but that's good. And then I always go back and check right here where I started. For some reason, it doesn't always grip good, so I just go back and add a little more glue on both sides. So I don't want it to come unglued. Okay, so that looks good. All right, now we're going to attach it to our flower. So you just turn your flower over, put a dot of glue, and we're going to attach our alligator clip, just like that. Just press it down, make sure it grabs. Okay, and then we're going to trim our little piece, and then that's going to wrap around so that it so it stays on attached to the alligator clip. It's just more secure than just gluing the flower to the alligator clip. This way you know this piece is attached with the thread to the flower and then wrapped around the alligator clip. It's just going to stay on a lot more securely. I also will tend, I'll go back under there and just glue that down. I just like them to be really secure. I don't want to want them falling off. And just kind of check. Okay, so now we have our flower on our alligator clip, and now we just need to add our center. You can use a button, you can use um, anything you like. I like to use rhinestones, so we have a pink rhinestone. You can use bigger, smaller, whatever you like, but this is a good size for a small one. And then to attach the rhinestone, I use E6000 which is a really good strong glue. It is kind of hard to work with if it's hard though. So I just use a toothpick, a little drop, put it on the rhinestone. Sometimes it doesn't like to come off. And then just put it right in the center. It doesn't glue, it doesn't dry like right away, so you have flexibility on being able to move it around for a little while. So you get it to right where you like it. It dries clear, so you don't have to worry about that. So that looks about right. And then you do want to let it dry probably at 
24 hours is good, just especially if it's for, you know, an infant, a baby, um, just to make sure that that rhinestone is good and secure. So there you go. There's a small ribbon hair flower in pink, and you're all set on an alligator clip. And here's a white one that we've done also. So that's the small. This is a large, so you can see the difference. And then I also do a medium size one. All right. See you next time.